Okay, sup guys, it's Eternal Gaming here, and today we're going to be finishing our TOA 90, uh, quest to TOA 100 series. So this is TOA 90 against Sayara Boss and the Jokers. We're going to be using Tyron, Shannon, Beretta, Veramos, Bella. Now, I failed with this a fuckload of times, but I managed to beat it with this exact team, so I know it, I know it can beat this, without a doubt. So... I also have new recording software that I'm going to be using. It's Mobizen, so I've heard this is a really good uh, recording software, and I hope it can really improve the quality of my videos, because I know that uh, I, I haven't been making videos a lot, because really the quality has been just absolute shit, and I don't really feel like it's uh, worth people's time to view videos that have really shitty quality. Um, don't forget that if this uh, series has helped you at all, please leave a comment below or a like. And if it didn't help you, uh, then just explain uh, politely why, uh, why you think this uh, series could improve. And obviously, this, this is my first time uh, getting able to uh, this, this high of a level. I've never been able to clear TOA. And I really hope that I can do it this round. Uh, I think I have all the the resources that I need, but this series will definitely be a challenge. But it's a challenge I'm looking forward to. And even though only a few people will probably view this, I want to be uh, there with you guys, the viewers, when together we, we can clear TOA 100. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. Hoping for a natural 5-star from the Legendary Scroll, of course. Anyway. Now, since this is going to be kind of just the same shit over and over. Just me spamming, um, like, all these skills and shit. I'm going to try to talk about uh, something else. Something that might help players who are less, um, less adept at clearing TOA, such as me, such as me, like, if you have never cleared TOA before, I really want to try to help out uh, the community and the viewers by uh, offering some advice and more or less uh, a guideline or a tutorial. Um, so basically, I think today uh, our topic's going to be the TOA 100 boss, that's what we're going to talk about. And even though I might be discussing this later, I feel like it's uh, just a good time to get into this right now. So uh, let's just start. So first off, like all bosses, the TOA 100 boss, the boss at floor 100, is um, obviously immune to... Oh my god, this is... Fucking Christ! I got wiped again! See, this is why you don't fucking trust me to make videos that legitimately, like, can fucking help you. Because I just fucking constantly lose. This is like a fucking 10% success rate. Shit. Whatever. One more time. If this fails, if this fails this time, I'm honestly gonna just skip 2A90 for this series. Yeah. So it better fucking work. It better fucking work. Anyways, let's go back to uh, what I was going to talk about. So, uh, the TOA Floor 100 boss, like all bosses, is obviously immune to stuns, sleeps, freezes, but um, not immune to attack bar decreases. And uh, that basically means you can take advantage of that with, by bringing monsters such as a uh, Hua and a uh, Beretta. Even people, I think, use Spectra probably to get really fast clear times, but I wouldn't recommend Spectra unless you're pro, which you would not be watching this video unless you, if you were pro. So, basically, uh, if you have a Hua or a, um, what you uh, Beretta. A Hua and Beretta will be extremely useful in the boss fight. If you have them well ringed, of course. Um... What else? What else? He's obviously mean to uh, continuous damage effects, which uh, is similar with all other bosses. Um, 
Now he has a uh, two two different skills. Uh, his first skill is an is a is a like single target hit, and his second skill is an AOE, which is reusable in three turns. Uh, so basically, now let me quickly find the uh the the uh the um damn it what. Let me quickly find the uh, information on the internet about TOA 100. And, uh, yeah. Basically, he has two skills which are AoE, or blah. God damn it, I'm really just. It's hard to focus when you're just hitting these goddamn buttons and hoping that you don't fucking fail with your fucking 10% chance success rate. It's really fucking hard to just pay attention to this and. Also, like, talk about other stuff. Damn. Anyway, let's get back on track. So, QA 100 boss. Two skills. Um, hold on. Two skills. Uh, one is single target, one is AoE. They both hit for about the same amount of damage, but... The AoE is reusable in three turns. Uh, I have my information right now, so uh, hopefully if I can just get this uh, get this fucking trash wave cleared out, then yeah. Let's see. So basically, you're gonna want to also bring an attack bar increaser, such as uh. Vertihal or like Bernard, if you have the slot. I haven't done this from personal experience, but uh, that's what I've heard. People are bringing a Hua and Bernard combo and just fucking wrecking the boss. Now, if you don't have Hua, then I guess it's not proper to build a uh, an attack bar. Like, well, some of them it it's hard to explain, but um, some of the mechanics are like if you can stop the boss from getting a turn, you're basically going to win no matter what, because the boss will never be able to attack, and he only has two towers, which don't do anything in terms of damage. Um, so, so my plan was actually to have a Hua and Bernard sort of combo lineup, where I could just constantly be decreasing the boss's attack bar, and that would basically prevent him from getting any turns and dealing any damage. So, pretty excited to see if that'll work or if it'll just become a total fucking flop. Which it might. But, fuck it. We'll try it. We'll try it when we get to the boss. Holy motherfucker, this is not good, huh? Whoa. Shit. Where, where the fuck is my Bella's Violence? You need that heal, huh? Anyway, let's take a look at his passives, because the TOA boss actually has two passives, which are uh, very instrumental. If if you want to um, beat the boss, you're gonna... Oh, fuck. Whoa. If you want to beat the TOA 100 boss, you have to get to know the passives and uh, sort of uh, understand them so that you can beat the boss. That's really the key, I'd say, to beating the TOA 100 boss, is understanding passives and having the right team to take care of it. So let's take a look at the passives once I sort of assure myself that I'm not gonna fuck this over, which, this looks really good right now. This looks really fucking good. We're probably gonna clear this unless I fucking just jinxed myself or some shit. Okay, passives. Let's see. Um, he has Fatal Flames passive, counterattacks the enemies with burning flames, and recovers a certain amount of damage uh, as, um, as HP. So basically, he has a, a counterattack, okay? When you attack the boss, directly attacking the boss, AoE no matter what, doesn't really matter. AoE, uh, direct hit, it doesn't matter how hard you hit, 
he's gonna always counterattack with the 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 same kind of counterattack, and uh, he's gonna recover a certain amount as HP. Uh, so let's say you have someone like a uh, Chloe. Chloe would be a a common TOA 100 monster. Now Chloe would be hitting the boss. Say say Chloe does around 400k. That that sounds what the fuck 400k? Did I just say that? Fuck fuck me. Four four hundred. I meant four hundred. Say Chloe does four hundred damage. That means that Chloe uh, would actually be healing the boss instead of damaging the boss because I, I think the boss heals somewhere around the seven hundred mark, eight hundred. It ranges depending on uh, the the monster or something like that. But Chloe would be healing the boss on her attacks, which doesn't make any fucking sense. So therefore, you would uh, not target the boss with Chloe because he would just be fucking healing, which is just shit. It's gonna shit you over. Also, we just won TOA90, so yeah. I just successfully proved that you can be TOA90 with this team. Even though it took me like a long ass fucking time. Mm. There we go, and I already beat this floor, so fuck it. Wanna do 91? Yeah. Yeah, let's do 91. Fuck it. Liches and shit, okay. Let's just bring the same team. Who cares? Okay, uh, um, Fatal Flames. So basically, you don't want to hit the boss, uh, if your, uh, if your attacks are doing too little damage because he's gonna be able to life heal with his counter attack. And that's basically just gonna shit you over. Yeah, no other way to really put it. You're gonna get shitted over. Um, yeah. Freaking Light Amazon. I don't even know what those skills are, but... We'll focus on them. And, uh, Almighty Passive. Now we're back to talking about QA 100 boss. Um, Almighty Passive is probably what fucks people over the most. I think. I think. Not from experience, but I think. Because it uh, removes all harmful effects and permanently increases the boss's attack power, defense, and attack speed according to to the amount of harmful effects removed. Um, uh, let me kind of put that into perspective. You have a boss who's uh, basically going to cleanse himself of all harmful effects every time his attack bar reaches the full amount and he gets a turn. If you can prevent the boss from getting a turn, you can stack as many fucking harmful effects as you like. Because he'll never get a turn and he'll never be able to stack, uh, the, 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 um, the, uh, almighty passive buffs of attack power, defense, and attack speed. But if, if you fuck it up and say you can't fully, um, keep the boss's attack bar down, and he somehow gets a turn and clears, like, 10 debuffs or so, I mean, a plus 10 almighty passive is pretty much gonna fuck you over. So yeah, that that I think is probably what people get fucked over on the most. Just, well, yeah, just not being able to apply debuffs can just totally shit over your strategy because um, it's like really important to debuff bosses. But since you can't debuff the 2A100 boss unless you can fully CC him, which I really hope I can do, then yeah. We went over the passives now, so hold on, let me just try to take control of this stage. I don't like that they're all fucking fire type because they're gonna snipe my Shannon. It's annoying as shit when this kind of thing happens. I have to boost ATB. And this fucker's Garuda, this fucking Garuda's have attack bar increase. Look at that shit, that's bullshit. They're fucking Bernards, man. They're just like fucking Bernards. Anyway. Oh, good thing these, uh, fire elementals, they hit for shit. It's just seize buffs, fuck it. So yeah, basically I've covered, uh, the majority of what I wanted to talk about, uh, sort of the, the, uh, the TOA Boss 100. 
I'll go a little more in depth into his skills probably later in the series since we have a lot of these fucking floors to clear and a lot of talking to do. But yeah, that's basically the overview I wanted to give you, the viewer, about QA100, and yeah. So, I'm just gonna watch as I fucking slowly fucking bring down these, uh, the liches and shit. Oh, the liches, that reminds me that the new dungeon coming out, Necropolis. Pretty sure a lot of you guys have heard of it, um, yeah. It's no, no real surprise, I mean... Yeah, Comp to Us was eventually gonna come out with some kind of new shit just to keep old players interested. But yeah, I don't even know why I'm focusing on the Wind Lich. It would probably be better to snipe the Fire one, but fuck it. Actually, I want to snipe the wind one, because he's being a bitch, and I don't like when these fuckers are being a bitch. <laughs> it's true. I don't like it when these guys are being bitches. Look, this fucking fire one. See, this is exactly why I'm not sniping the fire one. It's because he's fucking resisting everything, and it's bullshit. Look. It's utter bullshit. They buffed resistance in some way, shape, or form. Well, not, not, not for sure, but that's my theory anyway. Now, well, let's just auto. Yep. Um, so basically, in our next video, we're just going to be going over QA 92 to 93, and hopefully it'll be pretty fun, and I'll get to share uh, a little bit more as I read mm -hmm. some more about the QA Boss 100. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been a real pleasure to have uh, this a video and have you watch it with the the new recording software. I hope it's uh, in a lot better quality, but as always, leave your comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks!